All right, uh, today I am at the Money Rocks County Park here in the, on the eastern side of Lancaster County. There's supposed to be some cool rock formations up here and, and whatnot. But I have a trail map down here too. This is also right next to the Welsh Mountain Nature Preserve. I might actually get into parts of that today, we'll see. But I am gonna be hiking some of these trails up here. Down here is Welsh Mountain. It's a beautiful day. It's early December and it's still in the 50s here in Pennsylvania. It's been a mild winter so far, which I'll take. It makes for good hiking. Alright, so I'm gonna head out here. Alright, so I'm gonna head over to the Overlook first. And I'm gonna come back and take this other trail, the Coxcomb Trail. This is only a 300 acre park, so the trails are kind of short. But let's head on up this way. Looks like we're coming up to an overlook here. They got like a fence up here, so we'll walk up here together. Eh, not the greatest view. If they would cut down these trees, you could see more. But over here is the start of what they call the Money Rocks. Uh, tradition says that the local farmers would hide their money up here. Thus, you know, Money Rocks. It looks like there's trails down there. And wow, so we're gonna keep going this way. It looks like they get up pretty tall up there. Something will help have some better views up there. So I'll head on up that way. Well, this rock right here is pretty cool. I know you see that big graffiti, but if you look closer, there are dates on here with names. Here's an 1870, 1875, 1960. There's a Derek, some, or that says Jacobs or something. A Nolt. <laughs> All kinds of dates on here. Here's I'm not sure what this is. 18 does it say 62? All kinds of here's a there. 1960 or something like that. So that's pretty cool. I never knew that was here. Oh here's another. Let's say 1852. Huh, so some people have been carving their names up here for a long time. It's pretty cool. If you've ever been to the Boxcar Rocks in northern Lebanon County, this has a very similar feel to that. I haven't done a video on the Boxcar Rocks. I will one day here, but this feels very similar to that. Not quite as big as those, but a similar feel to it. A lot shorter. I think they end up here shortly. But the trail goes down there, too. Looks like some more cool rocks down there. All right, let's keep going. I've come down around the bottom here now. There's like a huge pit down here. This is probably an old mining spot. Mining spot. Of course, I'll be going down in there. I did pass a hunter up there. Just uh, some FYI, there is no, you're not supposed to be hunting in this section of the park. So keep that in mind. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try and head down into here. There's still some modern mining down here. That's a, I'm not sure what they're mining down here, but this whole area down here has been mined out. Can't really see through trees too well, but they're digging stuff out here. There's a cool old mining trail here. I was tempted to see where this goes. This wasn't on my list to do today, but I'll have to come back here again someday. But here, I'm gonna go into this, uh, Here's the entrance to that pit. I'm gonna walk them to there now. Yeah, down there's that mining area. And you can see it. You can even see it right here on the map. I'm right here at this yellow trail. Right there's that whole area where they're mining. So I'm coming into this pit area. 
There's a vein of quartz rock, so maybe they were in here for that, but I'm seeing some other interesting rocks here. I'm thinking they might have been after this stuff, whatever it is. Little pieces of it here. Very chalky. I wish I knew more about rocks, but so I've seen some more of it up here. Very crumbly. I'll have to look that up when I get home. Take a piece with me. Yeah, here's another huge piece of quartz. Just a lot more of this white, whitish looking rock. Oh, I don't kill myself here. Let's go into this pit here. Okay, so this is cool. The rocks are way up there. This is massive. Pretty cool in here. So I'm gonna look around in here, see what I can find. All right. Yes, this place is just massive here. Cool though. Well, I'm gonna walk up there so you can see a scale of how big this place is. So now I'm going to check out what's called the Coxcomb Trail. Looks like it's got red blaze marks. This must be a, another rock outcrop up here with some overlooks, so we'll, we'll go check it out. It's a red-bellied woodpecker. Going. Well, I'm on that coxcomb trail and I think these up here what they're referring to is the coxcomb rocks. Maybe there's some more interesting ones up further but I'm not sure. Never been here before but I'm gonna keep walking. Yeah, the trail just keeps following, or well, going alongside this little ridge of rocks back there. I think that's what they're referring to as the Cox Comb. But this trail loops around down to the, to the bottom of this hill and we'll come back up. There's another trail down there too called the Iron Horse Trail. If I have time, I might check that one out too. There's kind of a cool view for the trees here, but in the summertime, you couldn't really see anything. You're starting to see stuff like this everywhere now, where people are building this, I don't know what you call it, rock art. And it's kind of cool. But... Alright, I'm still on the Coxcomb Trail. I just came down the mountain into this, like, valley area. And it's going to keep on going. Well, I have no idea what this is doing here. It's got a lock on the side. And there's, a, there's another one down there through the trees. I don't know what these are. The trail is just following a, an old road here. The woods right now. Uh, this place is also called Welsh Mountain. Because back in the early days, a bunch of Welsh immigrants came here, bought the land from William Penn, I think it was, 
and they moved up here. So there's definitely a lot more to see up here. There's a couple different sites where you can find old foundations of those settlements. So I'll definitely be back here someday in the future. I gotta, I gotta be somewhere later today so I can't stay too long here. Yeah, I'm no longer on that coxcomb trail. I was, I was headed back to the truck on that trail, but I, I'm not sure what I did. I wasn't paying attention, but this trail takes me back the same way. But down here, you can see the, the mining operation. I'm not sure what they're digging out there. I know there were clay mines back out here in the past, so maybe that's what that is, like a type of clay or something that they're digging up. There. They're pretty extensive. Yeah, this trail here takes me back to the uh, the first trail I was on, the Money Rocks Overlook Trail. There's a lot of trails out here that are not marked on the map, so. And some of the trails that are marked on the map aren't marked terribly well out here in the woods, so. Well, I'm back here at that, those money rocks, and down there is that open mine pit. Of course, one misstep up here and you're, you're going to have a bad day falling down into there. Anyway, I don't want to get too close. I found another section of rock here with name, the things carved in here, 1973, LM79. Somebody likes Jeff. I'm not sure what the 1990 looks like. 79. Gary plus Kathy. So that's it for today. Like like I said, this is my first time here. But uh, I'll be back someday in the future. Like there's a lot more to check out here. And plus there's that uh the nature preserve, Welsh Mountain Nature Preserve is right next to here too, and there's a bunch of trails over there. I gotta, I gotta check those all out some other day. So, until next time, uh, I'll see you later.